everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 2 by 2 Noah and the Flood. Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 to 9 chapter 17. Let's read. The earth filled up filled up with people, but they sent so much that God was sorry he had made them. He decided to send a flood and wash everyone on earth. So in the world there were many people, but say this so much sin and like teasing and there were many thieves, poor people there were many bad people in the world so God decided to uh, uh, oh wait. Like, I mean, poor people is not a bad thing. Like, the people were not helping them. There was a man named Noah who wasn't like the others. Noah loved God and obeyed him. God decided to spare Noah and his family from the flood. So Noah was not the, like the others. Noah obeyed God and trust God and also so serve God and the very kind family. And God decided to spare Noah and his family from the flood. <laughs> God learned Noah about the flood. He told him to build an enormous boat with a low flute roof, three desks, a window, and a door. And obedience, Noah built it. So Noah obeyed God, so God think he must spare Noah and his family. So God told about the flood and God also told Noah to build a big, big, enormous boat and a low roof, three decks, desk, and a window and a door. So, Noah obeyed God. It will take a long time to build an enormous boat, right? Washing pool. We have got the Bible drum. Question Who loved and obeyed God? Number one, a thief. Number two, a uh, boy is teasing a girl, right? Number three, Noah and his family. Noah and his family was the correct answer. Uh.
I am so tired and like it is very hot because I have just put um, <laughs> not told now what to collect two ki of kind of animal every kind of animal one male one female then Noah, his family, and the animals went into the boat. God shut the door. So God told Noah to collect two of every kind of animal. Like God has helped Noah to collect. Because if God doesn't, like, does Noah has brought the... A tiger and also Noah has taken a rabbit and like the tiger ate the rabbit then never <laughs> Noah could so God helped them one female and male and Noah and his family got into the boat with the two kind of animals, every kind of animal, and God shut the door. rain for 40 days and 40 nights. Water fell from the sky and rose from the ocean and lakes. Even the tallest mountain disappeared beneath the flood. So it rained for 40 days and nights. And the sky rose from the oceans and lakes and also the tallest man that disappeared by the flu I think that is the tallest ever. it is almost reaching wow. question did God tell Noah to take one of each kind of animal to the ark? No. God said to each of animal, one male and one female. Meanwhile, Noah, his family, and all the animals were safe in the boat. Floating on the blue water, God has not forgotten about Noah, not even for a moment. So, Noah and his family and all the animals were safe in the boat. Because Noah has obeyed God, God has spared Noah. Yeah. And also God didn't forgot about Noah even a wise moment. So now monkey is giving the banana to the sheep. God sent a window went to blow. The waters went down. The boats rested on a mountain. Our, uh, Noah sent out a dove. When it didn't return, he knew it was safe. So, water dry every day a little bit, right? And the boat rested on a mountain. 
and also Noah has uh, sent a dove but it didn't return so they knew it was safe. When the ground was dry, God told them to come out. He put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he would never flood the whole world again. So God told them to come out and put the rainbow in the sky as a promise that he will never flood the whole world again. David watching watch his sheep. <laughs> Question God put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he will never flood the whole earth again. True. The rainbow is the promise that God will never flood the whole world again. So, I think like because we can see the rainbow like uh, raining and sunny day, I think like that's meaning of the rainbow. <laughs> two by two, yeah, I read the two. Bible story did enjoy and next time I will read another good stories. Now let's see you next time. Bye!